Neo with 5,000 insurance registrations for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. This is important and noteworthy because as we look over here at the playlist, I've been tracking this data since late 2022, and this is the third week ever that we've seen Neo come in with 5,000 or more on this insurance registration data side of things, but it's the second week in a row, back-to-back -back weeks. It looks like Neo could be trending in that direction of ramp with both production and delivery. Let's see if Neo can come in with a 20,000 delivery month for September. What do you think? Drop it in the comments. I want to hear from you. I know it's early. We've only got a couple of days of September data, but I'll be tracking this and wondering, and I'm also kind of thinking based on things like this on the right-hand side, this is the breakdown of the Neo models sold in China week to week. So the most recent week on top and the previous week below, there's some consistency that's showing through. And we're going to get Neo with the release of the EC6, the final, the eighth model of the lineup for Neo in September. I'm not sure how many of those deliveries will actually go out and get, you know, cataloged or registered here in September. Let's see what happens. But I do think Neo's definitely got a shot at the 20,000 number and maybe a new record. Also, it is still very early in the premium side to the luxury side of the EV adoption in China. That market segment, that piece of the market is the slowest to move over. So that's why this data is something I like to keep an eye on. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi have dominated this space. Tesla sometimes gets sprinkled in there uh, in the top as well. But, and, and you know what, I'll, I want to note this. They, they call it luxury brands, but this is maybe more of a premium slash luxury kind of a combination of the two. Because for example, I'm not sure what the average selling price for Tesla is, especially after they've done the price cuts in China. So the, the, there may be a little disparity here on some of the, the price points and, and relatively speaking, one brand versus another. So just something I wanted to mention and highlight. But uh, let's do this. I still need to get my um, still need to get my second quarter earnings review video out. And what I think I'll do with that is I'll just highlight the the transcript, different things that stood out to me, different things that uh, where I'm trying to connect dots, and then sort of sharing what I think I'm seeing. So it, hopefully this week I'll get that out. Um, but uh, also at the bottom of the screen, you see today's Aaronism is focus. And it's also on my Twitter because this is something I like to remind myself of. We're living in a, an age where things move fast. We've got a lot of distraction in the way of technology. It's a blessing to be able to do some of the things we're able to do with technology, but it can also be very distracting. And, and so for me, I like to stay focused and try to stay honed in on the work, trying to improve myself, research and continuing my education is like, that's just part of life for me. That's, that's always going to be there. Uh, I don't ever want to stop growing and trying to improve and be better. So focus reminds me to do just that. Uh, but let me wrap this thing, get it up and out. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Please like the video. If you, in fact, like some of the content and subscribe to the channel, if you haven't also check out Game Changer Real Estate. I need to get some content out over there as well. I'm very blessed. I'm blessed to be here, blessed to share this, blessed to be busy. We'll see you all again very soon.